Wakey, wakey, gentlemen. Let us all be on our best behavior once again today. Captain? I'm looking to get into the Commandant's quarters. Any ideas? Hmm. Well, I used to go in through our mess hall, and then the guards' mess. But that can be tricky these days. You might do better to find another way, my friend. Have you met the new inmates? Bernier and Crown? Ah, they seem pleasant enough. Bernier's a strange one, but at least he shows an interest. As for Crown... I hear he's been invaluable to the escape committee. Say, you know where I could find a decent bed sheet? They don't call it cold it's for nothing, eh, my friend? I'd imagine the guards sleep rather more soundly than we do. I'll speak to you later. I see you so little, Captain. Keeping yourself busy, eh? You finding your way around here okay, Bernier? This place? It's a maze, is it not, sir? And it seems to be getting bigger. They say the guards just opened up a whole lot of old doorways. You seen any electrical cable lying around? I'm afraid not, but I will certainly watch out for some and let you know the moment I see any. Found any secret routes around the castle lately? Not for a while, sir. Perhaps if you do, we could exchange notes. I'll speak to you later. Hello there! You settling into the routine okay, Crown? Not really. Bit browned off, if the truth be known. I'd give anything to hear the splutter of a Merlin engine firing up right now. It's the first time I find myself banged up like this, but I intend to make sure it's the last. How's the escape plan coming along? Oh, slowly but surely. Having to be jolly careful to keep my tracks covered, what with Jerry being so on the ball these days. Know where I can get me a bedsheet crown? Ah, hmm. Best thing you could do, old boy, is take a gander in Jerry's barracks. They've got the smoothest bed linen I've ever seen. No expense spared for the sons of the Reich and all that. I'll speak to you later. Hello, sir. How can I get a look into the Commandant's quarters? You certainly ask some poser, sir. The only route I've heard about is through Jerry's area, just off the corridor between the mess hall and the kitchen. But I gather there's probably a patrol right outside. Sounds like more trouble than it's worth, sir. Oh? What would you do instead? I'd steer clear of the whole place, sir. But should one be dead set on taking a peek, I've heard Jerry mention a balcony outside the Commandant's room. We're very much in the dark about the whole area, to be honest, though, sir. I could use some planks right now, Worthington. You seen any? Funny enough, sir, I have. Not sure if you've noticed how Jerry's been levering open old doors, but they've dumped the leftover planks in the chapel. Don't know if they're still there, though. Did you talk to the new boys? Oh, yes, sir. Crown seems terribly keen to get back into his cockpit, and Bernier, well, I'm still trying to get the measure of him. Seems a decent enough sort of fellow, though. I'll speak to you later.
I am delighted that you all conducted yourselves so admirably today. Let us keep it that way. Guten Tag, Kamerad. What is that? Move, prisoner Schnapp! I am delighted that you all conducted yourselves so admirably today. Let us keep it that way.
Gott, was hat Neues? Guten Tag. I must be going mad. And this prisoner has been distilling the substance himself. That is correct, Herr Commandant. But after I alerted the guards, his equipment was removed and destroyed. Excellent work, Captain Zimmermann. Oh, and uh, did you by any chance discover who defaced my photograph of Otto? Yes, Herr Commandant. The culprit is... What is the meaning of this? Collusion with the prisoners? Guards, arrest both these men! One moment, Herr General. It is not how it seems. This man is one of us. Explain. With your permission, Herr Commandant. I was just reporting to the Commandant that the prisoners have been illicitly supplementing their rations with scrapings from the officers' dustbins. And also, that one man has been manufacturing a forbidden beverage in his barracks. Jolly devious, what? Hmm. Well, Commandant, if those are the worst of the prisoners' crimes, perhaps security at Kolditz is not so bad as I had feared. Indeed, Herr General. Since we placed prisoner Harding in solitary confinement, we have had little, if any, trouble. Harding. Harding. I want that man watched at all times. If he so much as sneezes out of turn, he is to be shot. With respect, Herr General, to execute a British officer without due cause would be... Commandant, would you rather he wandered freely into the laboratories beneath the castle and sent phase two of the program up in flames as well? Of course not, Herr General. Sir, there was one other thing. I noticed a prisoner leaving the authorized area and moving in a furtive manner above the library. I took the liberty of photographing the incident and have the film here. Probably just harmless mischief. We will tighten security around the library. It is all on this film, sir. Oh, give it to me. Hmm. We won't let on to Crown that we've blown his cover just yet. But we'll warn the other prisoners to watch what they say around him. I thought that fellow smelt a bit fishy. Never liked the cut of his jib. And that ain't all. The General said something about more laboratories under the castle. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, this is most interesting. Oh, I suspected we had not seen the last of General Stahl's scientific ambitions. Oh, Captain. You must finish the glider with all haste, and then see what you can discover in the foundations of Kolditz. We've had this steel key made up for you, Stone. It might prove useful. <laughs>